Hello and welcome everyone to today's episode of What's New in Dynatrace version 294. As you can see, today I'm unfortunately a recording alone, but um, rest assured my colleagues Berkan and Kale will appear again in the upcoming episodes. We will unite again. Um, let's dive right into 294. Um, as usual, what we will learn today, the playground environment, of course, is linked in these slides. Um, we highly encourage you to check it out. It doesn't cost anything at all. Yeah, you, the, all, all you need is a browser, actually. If you're already an experienced Dynatrace user, then still, please feel free to check it out. All the newest features and, and, and capabilities of Dynatrace are ready to be tested there right away. Playground environment. Product updates, that's basically the main chunk of today's presentation. We are discussing the product updates with version 294. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And of course, that's not all the resources available. There is a Dynatrace community there um, in the forums. And there is the live chat. There is the documentation, your account team, blog posts. So many, many possible resources where you can get um, updates, information, answers to your questions, consultancy, whatever you need. Um, yeah, please feel free to reach out. Um, on top of that, we prepared integrated into the documentation um, hundred and more, hundred and plus cases in, in within many many categories, allowing you to check out how Dynatrace can be used across all the possible stages within the IT um, with, uh, in an IT journey, basically starting from the developer developer side over to the releases and all the way to the right side about how to protect and improve. Um, yeah, very interesting here, improve not only to improve the software, but also to improve basically um, yeah, with the Carbon Impact app, um, the whole globe essentially when it comes to the all prominent climate change. Um, okay, let us start how we can use that or where we can use it, of course, the playground environment exists, but you can also create your own playground environment, create your own trial account. Just scan the QR code or click on the link here. Um, existing Dynatrace SaaS users can um, open the link here to dive into Dynatrace right away. And of course, there is also um, a lot of information available or hands-on tutorials and, and code snippets um, in GitHub. So please feel free, please feel free to check out all three, depending on your use case. Um, yeah, and without further ado, let us check out what I wait with 294. Uh, many interesting features. And yeah, let's start with the first one. And the first one being, that's a product news, allowing us more features when it comes to deleting individual records in within the Grail storage. So basically, yeah, allowing us via the API, just made a screenshot here from the API, to delete on record level. Uh, basically, why would we need that? Because of compliance issues. There are end user requests requiring that level of, of, of deletion and um, or privacy loss, for example strong feature to erase on record level data yeah. in case it's of interest for you please check out here the blog post linked here in the title uh, yeah very neat feature um, another feature uh, about the new platform of course about the new distributed tracing app there was there is an improvement happening or it it happened already and the improvement is a better way of handling long-running fetches and requests and uh, yeah, request or fetching traces. Um, maybe you remember it from the previous platform when applying complicated filters in distributed traces or checking larger time frames out. Um, then the loading times could have been a couple of seconds, and this was improved. So first of all, the visualization is better, as you can see in the new app. Um, analysis runs when applying filters. They doesn't. They don't take that long anymore. And 
what is very cool partial results can be returned from fetches um, that have been automatically uh, cancelled because they took so long before they time out and partial results will be made visible. Um, where you can find that, that's basically part of the, these are the use cases integrated into Dynatrace. What I wanted to show you is the new platform, of course. Simply search here under apps for distributed traces. And as was published many weeks ago in one of the release notes, often you can find in the new platform now two apps when searching for one keyword. And one of them is either marked with preview, if it's very new, as it is the case here, or is marked with this little new attachment in the icon indicating this is now the application according to the new look and feel to the new platform utilizing Grail, whereas compare that one is um, yeah, in, in imported, taken over from the previous platform. So we are interested in the new platform here. Click on that as I did here, and then you are greeted with the new, with the new um, view. Without um, spending here more time than required, basically here is, here is um, yeah, with version 2.9.4, uh, I want to present the improved um, loading times of this application. When applying here filters um, over longer time frames, then um, yeah, look and feel adapted and performance increased. Okay, let us go back again. Oh, I very, 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 very much missed the comments from from my colleagues to um, make it more colorful here. But let's continue. Um, new session replay extension is available. Uh, this is maybe you remember from the past, um, well, this already a couple months ago, if not mistaken, um, when it comes to reuser monitoring, of course, possible with one agent, agent less. And the third option was with the browser extension. And this browser extension was deprecated because of restrictions um, with Chrome or the way browsers took Edge Chrome with their manifest. Um, this wasn't possible anymore. And an answer to that, or in a similar way, um, this is now here the new extension allowing you to play back. And this is what I want to emphasize here, to play back session, sessions um, from session replay, um, yeah, especially or or making it better um, if you, for example, if resources are loaded from HTTP origins or um, yeah, here, font and style sheets resources loaded from HTTPS origins. So just just that I, um, yeah, maybe Im improve what I said before. It is not recording. It still requires JavaScript agent, but uh, the session replay extension of Chrome can help you with session, session um, replays, can play them back in case um, one of these two use cases is applicable for you. So yeah, please check it out in the Chrome store, um, can be integrated and ready to be used. Um, of course, uh, we, we can't miss with any new, uh, what's new in Dynatrace series, the new functions about TQL and the enhancements there. And in this version, I'm happy to announce one new DQL function. It's the exist function. Very simple, very easy function, but pretty powerful. Basically, we can check with the exist function if a field exists, and it returns a boolean, true or false. So pretty, pretty nice one. And um, another feature is new aggregation function for time series and make time series command. And these are start and end aggregations. Um, as we'll see in a moment, pretty neat when to see when starts and end where within a query. Um, yeah, I will show you. Depends on the interval, as we can see here. Mm -hmm. If I'm here to notebooks, as usual, this notebook will be shared with you. You can find it in the video description below. Um, yeah, first of all, the exist command. I think this one is pretty easy. I'm just fetching here the logs. Uh, let me comment here this one out. Just one log limiting to one. And then I'm checking here 
um, the fields with the exist command, if timestamp exists, if content exists, and if a made up field exists, and of course, true, true, false, here the result. A simple example, but I think um, it's awesome to showcase what the new function exists does. Uh, the aggregation, I think it's pretty easy as well. Simple, very simple query here, time series query, going here, the, the aggregated with minimum, the CPU load in an interval of one hour, and with the new aggregation starts and ends. And if you run here, then we can see here on the right side, of course, of course we see here start and end. These are not part of the aggregation. With the aggregation comes these two fields here, allowing us to check from where to where um, each piece of information was retrieved from where we aggregated here the minimum. So for the first um, sets of data, start was at 4 p.m. If I go back, end was 5 p.m., of course, because the interval is one hour. We have 25 uh, records here, of course, because we're checking the last 24 hours. Um, yeah, that's what the start and end aggregations do. I think pretty neat. Um, and can be used. Um, okay. What else do we have? Oh, let me let me go back to the slides once more. Um, yeah, please feel free to try it out here in the playground environment. It will lead you directly to the notebooks app. Um, two more new features when it comes to the notebooks apps or net notebooks app or the dashboard, the new dashboard app. Um, yeah, w one might say low hanging fruit, but they I think increase the usability, the friendliness of using the application platform um, by a lot. First one being we can search in the records list. So I will go back to the notebooks application in a second. Basically, we can check on the left side always and the records list. We can see what data type it is. And now this search bar here, that's what, what's new with 294. And the second one is um, related to what we referred to in the past, graphical DQL, when, for example, exploring logs or metrics on notebooks or dashboards in a graphical ma manner, as you are maybe used to from the data explorer when it comes to metrics. Of course, this one here fetches with grade in the background and um, allows you to chart metrics or logs in for this for the sake of completeness. But um, what is new here, we can translate this graphical way of searching into the DQL query. I think if I show it, um, it's pretty pretty easy as to what we are doing here. Simple. Oh, actually, I'm already showing the the result. So if you go here to adding a new section, you can explore 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 logs and metrics. And I selected here metric. Just that that's what I meant with before. What you are already used to from Data Explorer, selecting here the metric, selecting the aggregation. We can of course split by. Um, we can limit. We can add other commands here to the to the to the bar. And what this does in the background is actually using DQL, and here is the DQL query. And um, so basically allowing you to use, make use to fetch data from DQL, in this case, logs or metrics, without really needing to type um, the query yourself. So pretty cool, pretty cool thing. Can be used as a basis, copy this query, insert into into um, into a new section, uh, to the DQL query section, and Make it more complex, for example. Nice to have a fundament. And so that's the, the first one that's new. And the second one is the search box. Uh, as you can see here, um, what, what are we doing here? Actually, we are pulling here uh, the average CPU usage, aggregated by average. And of course, we have fields like time frame, interval, what host it is. And here we could now uh, filter. I think it's pretty self explanatory at this point. Very nice. If we have a long, long list of records, 1,800, uh, very nice to quickly get an overview here with the filter bar. Okay, back and yeah, as usual, please 
try out try it out here. Um, yeah. In case you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to chat. Or actually, you're already hit the slides. Hit the end of the slides. As I have said, um, yeah. Please feel free to ask. Um, if you have questions about the uh, presented materials or any questions at all from the previous presentation, as usual, please feel free to reach out and also to provide feedback. Um, we, greatly, we would greatly appreciate that. Of course, there are webinars. Check them please out in Dynatrace University. In the university, you can also make certificates for Dynatrace to show your knowledge, for example. And um, yeah, uh, apart from the Life and Product Chat, you have also always your Dynatrace 1 team beside you for uh, deeper communication and chat. With that said, thank you very much and have a lovely day, have a lovely summer. Goodbye, bye.